इतना सफर है कुछ होने में और बहुत कुछ होने में इतना सफर है एक बार सोच के छोड़ देने में और लग के कर दिखाने में मान लेने में कि जिंदगी ऐसे ही कटेगी और सुबह चार बजे उठ के सोचने में ये अभी तो बस शुरुआत है किसी मैगजीन को हाथ में लेने में और उसी मैगजीन के कवर पेज पे होने में इतना सा ही तो फर्क है आईपी सीट में और उसकी पिछली सीट में ये इतना सा ही तो फर्क है वो जिसका मैदान ही खुला आसमान है वही कल जमीन पर तो था पूछोगे तो बताएगा वो पंछी ये एक दायरे में सिमटने में और पूरी दुनिया को दायरा बनाने में बस इतना सा फर्क है इतना कितना है इतना है या इतना है जो नापेगा वो जाने कि जहां धरती और आसमान मिलते हैं नानकुर से दूर अगर मगर शायद से दूर वहां भी दोनों में फर्क बस इतना सा है धरती और सातवें आसमान में फर्क बस इतना सा है ये एक अंतर प्रेरणा है ये हमारी आपकी हम सब की अंतर प्रेरणा एक कदम एक छलांग एक बाजी एक गहरी सांस और एक ललकार खुली हवाओं में कि हाँ मैं बना हूं उन फिजाओं के लिए कि हाँ मैं बना हूं उन ऊंचाइयों के लिए जो ऊंची तो बहुत है पर नामुमकिन भी नहीं क्योंकि मुमकिन और नामुमकिन में बस इतना सा फर्क धूप छाओ में फर्क बस इतना सा है तो बस चलिए फ्रेंचाइज इंडिया के साथ ये फर्क मिटा देते हैं फ्रेंचाइज इंडिया ट्वेंटी इयर्स ऑफ आइडियाज गुड आफ्टरनून वन एंड ऑल थैंक यू सो मच फॉर ज्वाइनिंग अस टूडे for yet another interactive session of business opportunity over chai webinar series a series which we have started on 1st of may and we really want to extend our thanks to each one of you who is attending and getting your brand dreams from us franchises india a group which was established in 1999 to provide platform to international and national brands to expand their business with all our 70 plus offices and helping all potential business buyers to interact with us and get their dream brands from us we welcome you to the 7th edition of this particular series the webinar is hosted by mr maria who is a chairman at franchises india group along with ms sonia chaudhary she is the md at franchises india brands limited and both are leading team of consultant helping brands as well as potential business buyers we represent you today brand which comes from bangalore and they are enjoying the legacy of 13 years of their presence in market for their brand they are present in offline and online mode also their usp is they provide to us express delivery and they are operational with 61 plus outlets in bangalore and hyderabad yes the team of chef baker is with us today talking about this great brand and we have mr vishnu and mr shekhar sharing their journey with us so over to you shekhar and over to you vishnu sir thank you so much for sparing time today thank you ashna a very good afternoon to mr gaurav maria sir sonia chaudhary ma'am archana thank you again uh, for bringing chef bakers live mr shekhar will be presenting the details of chef bakers hi good afternoon to you all uh, my name is nyana shekhar and my colleagues uh, we are the, i am one of the co founder for chef bakers 
and my partner mr vishnu das and john james we are three are first from the hotel management background uh, we passed out by 90 91 batches in ihm chennai so we have a very good explore in the hotel industry in the premium segments in the star hotels and cruise lines and as well the uh, qsr restaurants uh, in a brand we are we gained the experience and we opened uh, the outlet open the uh, chef bakers by 2007 january uh, in bangalore we identified it by the place in uh, bangalore so initially we started with the b2b business for the corporates like uh, cafe coffee day and uh, uh, express and as well the chai point and many of the hotel services and later on uh, by the one year gap we started our own branch of bakers cafes so at this present we are into the premium segment we are always uh, proud to say we are targeted the premium customers and as well we are serving the what star hotel serving the pastry and desserts the same quality and the products with the commercial value we are serving into the uh, all uh, every customers that's how we grown into the organic level uh, till now in the uh, we have around uh, 50 plus outlets in bangalore we have around 11 outlets in hyderabad in this covid season also we are running around the 40 outlets uh, alive now due to the food courts not allowed we, we couldn't open many of the outlets and we have our our strength is we are from the we, i am a pastry chef so i can handle all the uh, every uh, uh, recipes and the product Uh, each and R and D, everything I'll be directly taken care with my all the professional team. We have around three hundred professional team with us, so we spread it uh, in a faster way. And also we are making our franchisee also earn in a good amount of the money from this investment. Why the fran? Why why uh, the franchisee has to invest to chef bakers? That is what I want to tell about that. So uh, so may. lot of bakeries in industry there is a over a, a plenty of the crores uh, turnover in each city but there's a premium segment uh, players is a very few and where is the unique thing is we are delivering not only the birthday cakes so we have around lot of variety of the desserts and uh, sweet tooths and the chocolates and the merchandise products and also our online portal have the very good uh sales in the uh, market so that investment we have around three models for the chef uh, chef bakers we have three models one is the launch another one more is the bistro and as well the express counter express counter is like around investment is very few like uh, 15 to 17 lakhs of the investment so that we your roi you will be getting a get within the 18 to 20 months and you are um the gross margin will be around 40% to just only to sell you have to take care of your uh, manpower rent and electricity and then few packing cost and the uh, other small uh, expenditures so every franchise who are doing that operating and putting the additional effort every franchise is having around good good enough of the margin they are saving so we have uh, almost the maximum of the success franchises we have at the, we, are, we have now so we have want to explore into so uh, we are our target by 2023 150 outlets in bangalore we you know chef baker obviously a uh, company cannot invest uh, uh, every outlet and we cannot focus that's why we are uh, uh, calling the my franchisee as a partners so invest they can run that outlet we can able to deliver uh, in any kind of the products and our marketing and the online support and my management support will be there always to ensure that the business is happening with the right manner so that is how we are uh, offering we are inviting uh, you know the small investors for the express outlet 15 to 18 lakhs over uh we are inviting for the nris or uh, it professionals so uh, and over uh, having the passionate to uh, enter into the industry we are inviting for them so uh initially uh, not only initially the every time our team will be 
joining with you to guide you for the each and every segment either products and services or your uh, manpower supports or any other any any kind of the supports the shebekas team will be taken taking care and we will make sure that that you are both be both together doing that right location and the right uh, right audience we target definitely we have a very good margin what you invested you will have the very good margin margin for this and we can associate for the life long this is how the industry is growth and also we are planning to explore into the master franchise master franchise at this moment already we have the given to hyderabad he they are running very successfully and also we are looking for south india in tamil nadu and vijayawada vaizag as well in pune mumbai uh, delhi and many places so master franchise how it works in the sense uh, the master franchise uh, the investment will be uh, once if you have a call we can able to uh, tell you the investment according to the how many outlets we are targeting for the 3 years accordingly we need to have the production unit the investment will be there but your roi for the fact uh, uh, master franchise will be around 24 to 36 month and your ebita will be definitely is going to be 25% in this master franchise will have a gross margin around 55% guaranteedly because uh, so we are working in the premium segment so the operational expenditure according to the city and the marketing uh, how its marketing works we can define and we can increase our ebita that's how it works uh, uh, that's i just want to uh, present this and the, uh, anything else i can able to uh, guide you uh, mr archana and mr gaurav sir thank you thank you uh, very much uh, very insightful uh, let's go because you have very successful operations you have run and uh, both sonia and i have really seen your operation very closely and and because you are a team of uh, you know professionals people a lot of people get into the business but they don't understand the business because you yourself have been chefs uh, service the large fnb operations handle uh, you know cruise liners and a lot of other things before you ventured out in your own uh, enterprise so you understand the business deep down for our uh, audience understanding on the business uh, while you explained the business model there are two types of bakery structures which run in the in the market one is what we call the industrial baking structure which we use create a centralized uh, baking capability and the uh, product is sent to the stores where there is a last mile finishing done which means that you do the icing on the cake and couple of other uh, dressings and so on so forth so you are in the business of setting up the same thing you have a factory which has already been set which is your central structure and then everything goes to the franchisee so because a lot of time when the people think about getting into a bakery franchise they get confused where i am going to get the bakers and how i am going to get that so it's actually a retail kind of a model where everything comes directly from the the company would you like to give a little insight about your uh, base kitchen capability how big is that and what kind of services you can do yes obviously it's a bangalore our production unit having the 12000 plus square feet and we have a huge uh, parking area around 5000 square feet for the vehicle parking and everything uh, we have a uh, 300 professional employees in the in our factory there are around 200, 180 professional chefs are there remaining all the teams like a uh, drivers and dispatch team and uh, quality uh, and etc uh, etc et we have a team for that and we used to produce around this factory at this present around every day around 1000 plus of the cakes 1000 kg uh, numbers 1000 plus numbers of the cakes either half a kilo 1 kilo or any customized cakes or uh, any kind of the, the thing we used to have that all kind of the breads which is the international uh, breads like croissants and danish bread sills or whatever you name it call we used to make for any customization for the b2b and as well for the customers and our uh, sweet tooths like you know our uh, to, uh, cakes like a sweet tooths like dry cakes tea cakes it's a very unique like our banana walnut cake a grandma pudding or whatever the brownie you name it call whatever the uh, thing 
it is ours if they won't uh, won't stand it and the uniqueness will be there because that the recipe has been tuned by us not to the standard recipe which is the market is following and also more of more of the recipes is not the premix recipes is the own created recipes so that uniqueness will be there the customer will enjoy the eh in every bite and we are planning for a lot of merchandise like our cookies are homemade cookies and our lot of chocolates and uh, we are introducing we are planning to introduce the around the baklava and uh, uh, so some other some more uh, turkish uh, sweets into their into our folder so attract the seasonal business like diwali and christmas so now the people want that every festival some different sweets earlier it was sweets from the uh, sweet stall then later on become a chocolate now there are people expecting something international sweets so that's what we are planning to add on into our our, our shops to the many other many other items for the seasonal uh, thing so very interesting and and they have a full bakery line bakery further is further divided into cakes cakes there was a very large segment for them because cake move very fast and a very good ticket value comes in rather uh, you can independently survive only on a cake shop also because it is a big big category and especially i think uh, in south and west this is a huge huge category almost all occasion people would get these smaller cakes for for the homes and for self consumption and also for any kind of occasion celebration and so on for india is full of celebration for everything we need a cake uh, coming in so cake is a very big market then there is a lot of other bakery and savory products and they have a full confectionery line which is a uh, very interesting thing from the the entire cookies to down the line everything in the confectionery from chocolates also they have line this so their their company because they are running now about 60 plus stores and have a lot of experience have one of the very few bakery chains i would know in india which has a complete line from cakes to bakery to confectionery everything is available in the line so as a retailer you get as a franchisee you you have a two choices to do that one is the express outlet which is a small outlet which you open up which would would be only to sell the uh, the product which means that goods come to you you do a, in the evening your requirement in the morning the the product is delivered to you and whatever uh, last finishing has to be done at the store which is very simple every average person can also be trained to do that and then you can do the sales it's a very good margin uh, and uh, Uh, that's one model, and second is the lounge model where you can have a little more sit down, and you can have a, a lot of bakery restaurant. I have had lunch with them, so they have very nice uh, full offering uh, uh, product line with them, which is a full lunch offering, and also a lot of beverages, coffee, tea, and other beverages, and so on. So that becomes more a cafe style uh, business, and then there is a smaller. So in a smaller cities, uh, especially outside Bangalore, Bangalore, I would say Express has a very big growth, huge growth opportunity because they are already a strong brand. so they want to do reach from the today to 150 stores so they are moving up very well but in a cities like say mangalore belgaum or places like that you can create a lounge also because there i think there is a bakery restaurants would do very well you have to have maybe 800 to 1000 kind of square feet you get sales of uh, bakery obviously but you also get a lot of dining sales and lot of takeaways and lot of delivery sales also coming and uh, i think there is a huge opportunity in those markets uh, to do that now they are also offering the master franchise but before i go to the master franchise because needs a very deep, deeper discussion let's begin with the express model what is the size of store which we need the express this 300 to 400 square feet sir 300 to 400 square feet 300 to 400 square feet and uh, you you uh, uh, these are normally now because the rentals are now down you can yes. get a good place in about 30 35 40000 rupees kind of a in in bangalore also it's yes. a it's a huge opportunity today uh, for this business and i can tell you the the sales of bakery confectionery is as equal as now these days like a fruit and vegetable and i think it's like essential service so it is moving in the same demand side so so it's a, it's a very interesting space because now because a lot of people don't want to really consume so much going into restaurant and eating so they are indulging more at home so they are buying a lot of confectionery a lot of bakery products and ask anybody anywhere you have that you they always run out of stocks because there is a lot of demand coming in so these smaller stores make a lot of sense uh, you need to find out neighborhood maybe 40000 uh, 
thousand uh, square feet kind of a nice location, three to four hundred square feet, and you're ready to go. Another thing which is very good in this business is that you have no stock loss. You know, so you have to just do interiors and and the stock is very fast moving. So there is no uh, inventory loss in that. In a lot of other categories like fashion, other places, you have a lot of inventory issues which can come in. So what is the investment goes in the basic interiors of this 300, 400 square feet? So apart from the uh, uh, this one, uh, like a landlord advance, it's around, you can complete, inclusive of the franchise fee, we can complete around within 15 lakhs. So it's so, entire thing is about 15 odd lakh rupees of investment, uh, which yes. can be easily completed with all the stocks, your refrigeration, your yes. interiors, because refrigeration is very important because you have to tap cakes. That yes. takes a lot of cost. And, uh, and because you, uh, that's the biggest spend in a, in a bakery space because you need to have a good refrigeration and Correct. because of display counters and yes. your, your uh, structures are very, very important. But other than that, that's not a cost. It's the best time for landlords also. So a lot of property owners, they themselves can take a franchise because rather than looking at, and I think it's a long-term business, you can have maybe two or three people. You need two or three people that sit in the store? Yes. We are uh, three peeps, people are maximum. That's more than enough for uh, run the cafe. This, if that uh, the franchisee owner is interested to spend at least four hours or five hours, you can manage with the two people. Yeah, so I, I, we are also encouraging a lot of uh, franchisee owners uh, to be part of them themselves because they can really uh, involve them. This is a good time for people to take become an owner operator. Owner operator is very important. Every time if you just owner and you're not operating, then it is not good. If you're an owner operator, both, then you are a very, very successful in this business. Now let's go to the lounge part of it. What is the lounge investment? What, how much? Yes, sir. Launch investment is uh, needed at least around 1000 to 1200 square feet area. We will be bifurcating around 220 square feet for the continental kitchen inside. That is uh, going to be the la carte kitchen. And remaining that all the, the seating area around 25 to 30 uh, uh, launch kind of cafe, kind of, cafe kind of the seatings with a AC unit. So investment will be apart from the, uh, the rental uh, deposit we can complete within 30 to 35 lakhs the uh, project. So, uh, inclusive of uh, power backup, I need to have at least 25 kVA power backup. This will, uh, expecting this restaurant, you know, uh, uh, there will a lot of uh, opportunity for to uh, sell the food like a pizza, a pasta, sandwiches, or rice bowl, or any starters. Well, as, uh, the aggregators like uh, Spiggy and Zomato or any other portal have a huge opportunity to, to devil, uh, increase your uh, ticket uh, ticket volume. As well, you are dining at least around, you can APC around 200, 200 to 250 rupees. Your cakes, obviously your cake sale always, if they, they see that large volume of the store, obviously your cake sale will increase than the regular, regular express outlets. That's what, uh, you know, uh, uh, that's how uh, we used to do the business. So, and your beverages sales will get increased because you are already having the dining option. So, a lot of beverages, either hot or cold, there is a lot of options are there. Our menu, every six months, we used to do the seasonal menu for that. And also, monthly special items will be incorporated for the a la carte menu. So, many things are there. That's, uh, uh, that's having the good opportunity to... Uh, uh, do the business over having the nice uh, place with the frontage of 25 square, uh, square feet frontage. Uh, this will do in a fair that uh, residential and uh, floating crowd as well the corporate clients merging where they can able to see the place. That is that kind of place it will do. And the second tier cities definitely the launch will work very well because. They have seen many, they won't agree the small express counter in one place. At least they have to see one large outlet. The people will get excited to come and have experiences. The second tier cities. Yeah. Very interesting. Very, uh, very useful. And uh, now let's get into the master franchise model. In master franchisee, let's say if I come from uh, another state and I come from Maharashtra and I want to say come from Pune, particularly, would I have to set up the first uh, manufacturing unit with you and then uh, start yes. franchising? That's what master franchise model would work? Yes. 
So we need to initially we need to uh, master franchisee. Uh, you need to have the production unit. So we need to define that within three years how many outlets capacity for, for that particular city. You know, Bangalore have 150 outlet that can be uh, we can serve. But uh, Pune maybe you have to see like you know 30 or 30 uh, plus. Maybe uh, Mumbai maybe 100 plus. This is how that we need to define our factory unit because we cannot change in the every three years. We cannot. Uh, shift our factory to different places because all most of them is the fixed equipments and infra a lot of infra work has been done like a tiles and plumbing and many things has been done we cannot remove it and go anywhere that is the reason we need to identify the right location for the factory and where it can be the radiously uh, within that 15 20 kilometers i can be able to serve around 30 40 outlets we have to right choose the right place and the investment part we need to identify uh, what is the investment and everything we have a uh, 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 there are, uh, if you want to have the factory with uh, 30 outlet, maybe 1.1, 1.5 crores. And then we need to at least the master franchise should have that at least one launch and four express outlets by his own. Maybe later on he can uh, liquid it, liquid for that. Initially he has to showcase of that model. And initially, initially he has to uh, uh, get that some operation, operating cost from that outlet. That's how uh, we are uh, recommending. And the here the how we can help for the uh, thing. That's what it's very interesting that every master franchisee to till the setting up the entire factory with the infra and a machinery, chef bakers will guide hundred percent for that. The second thing that uh, procuring the manpower. So we will be giving the some experienced chefs and the professionals to that team. Then we will procure some the local team and we will start operating the system. Then for the services like outlets, uh, interior and everything, we have a people, then our, we have a model. So we can find locally, which is the economically working out, then we can find the right people to set up the outlet. That responsibility also, also we will take care. And how the operational, uh, how to operate, uh, operate further. You know, Master Francis, they take and how to next uh, grow next level. They need to have a, a, find the more franchises of franchises and they have to find the B2B business. We will be putting our experience team to lead for that for a, some time. Then later on either you can be, uh, we can see that how you, uh, you work full to keeping him there or your team can be able to manage or you have a capable to manage. I don't want uh, your team uh, uh, to in my uh, salary folder so we can remove it and but our management and control recipe management and standard management everything will be guiding from us only this is how it's we are so, monitoring so very very interesting model and i uh, just to elaborate to our audience uh, if say markets which can be very interesting for them uh, for a master franchise it can be kochi it can be chennai it can be pune it can be goa it can be mumbai and even other states also, if you come from another state where there can be a capability, but you should look at, uh, I call it a three phase growth story. If you can look at a 30 stores in an immediate, uh, say 18 months to two years kind of a ratio, which you can do franchise, sub franchise, which you, every master franchisee would be able to sub franchise. And then you can add another 30 and another 30. So holistically, if you are able to put up a hundred, 90 to hundred unit kind of a plan over five years, then this can become a substantial business for you as they have done in their own market. So always start with a facility which can maybe have a accommodate expansion because tomorrow when you need to do expand, you cannot shift the main kitchen. Maybe you start with a lower equipment initially to feed 30 units or maybe entire thing and you can keep adding, but at least the facility should be That's large good. enough that it can accommodate any form of expansion because the expansion, when it starts coming in, you need to have the same space. Otherwise you need to build the shift into thing. Say maybe 2,500 or 3,000 kind of a square feet, or maybe more with a dry store and a and a good uh, you know uh, structure with with the movement of. Exactly. Correct. Exactly. The vacant and and all of that very important and uh, and it's a good business for somebody who would start maybe one or two of his own outlets, settle the business model right and then sub franchise this entire thing. So anybody who has interest in the markets, which I mentioned, Kochi, which is Kerala largely, Tamil Nadu, which is Chennai itself is a very mm -hmm. big market. Chennai itself is a 
100 150 store uh, market very very strong market i would say probably in the uh, in the three big cities bangalore like they have penetrated chennai becomes a very strong uh, capability goa is a very strong capability very spread again very strong uh, bakery intake market bakery confectionery intake market uh, very strong pune is a very strong market bombay obviously is a very historically a very strong market and uh, so anybody who is interested or even other cities also where you are interested in taking a master, this needs a little more elaborate discussion uh, with them to do that. So three models are available for if you want to do anything in within the current supply chain where they have, you can do an express and or lounge model. Uh, so some questions are coming for people like a say smaller cities nearby like a, a Mysore or a Coimbatore, which is three to four, five hours. Can we feed from our current setup? Would be able to can have, the pastry products is a fragile product, so we need to set a smaller, smaller project production unit in that city, particular city. We don't want to go with a frozen model because we want to serve the cakes at the fresh, more, fresh ones. That is the reason. Uh, so cakes are fresh. So Coimbatore, if we have to do at least there has to be four or five uh, franchise kind of a model, and the smaller mother uh, kitchen yep. has to be set up. Uh, yes. So there can be also an opportunity if you say you come with the Coimbatore and you put up a vision that you want to do five to seven stores, you can start with the one mother kitchen, which yes. has a little bit of a central facility. And then from there, you can service a lot of other express outlets also. That can become because they are very particular because being chefs, they know what is the quality and, and they want to give only the fresh quality rather than a frozen uh, quality to the stores. And because frozen, uh, especially in India, uh, on the cake side doesn't give you that same kind of reflection because we we use Ice cake cream. yeah we have uh, we have a very different uh, uh, you know uh, uh, expectation as indians and our yes. our breads and uh, structures are also very very different you know we we like a little bit of a more freshness in everything we consume now i like to bring in uh, sonia uh, sonia your your viewpoint on the entire bakery industry uh, operations of chef bakers and also uh, talk uh, a little bit on our questions which the audience is putting up. Over to you. Thank you so much yeah. Vishnuji and Shekharji. I think this is a very interesting, interesting yeah. presentation <laughs> and uh, we really have experienced uh, your products you know when you visited yeah. last time and yeah, I must say you. the experience of your outlet and the product uh, was immensely uh, satisfying to us and uh, even the locations that you have chosen and you've been running this business for the last 13 years i believe you've come a very long way to establish your brand with the kind of experience that you uh, come from not many people today who are doing this business come from the kind of backgrounds that you have you've you know really spent these years educating yourself and a lot of uh, consumers these years and i'm sure that you've seen how the present uh, bakery has evolved in these uh, many years and and from the times it was just occasion led where people only went on their birthdays uh, for uh, you know just to pick up a cake it has now become a part of our uh, daily lifestyle and today uh, indian consumers are actually prioritizing convenience and bakeries have become a very good to uh, go uh, option for people so uh, I'll take up some questions, uh, uh, Vishnuji and Shekharji, which I'm seeing, which have uh, come in. And uh, one, because you currently run some outlets which are in Bangalore and Hyderabad. And uh, I think we did mention about some of the outlets which are operated by the company. And I have an interest uh, from one of our participants who perhaps wants to know if there's a possibility of uh, transferring any of the company owned outlets to a franchisee, which is a BOT model where you know, these outlets are running and which can uh, be given to a franchisee. At this present, uh, uh, we are not yet planned, ma'am. Uh, if anything is there, I'll later on by uh, after October, I can able to tell. It's open for discussion anyway because of this situation right now. With, want uh, this COVID situation right now, which we are facing, we just we, but options are always open. That is what we would like to yeah. say. Sure. And happy friendship day to start off. Today is yeah. an international friendship, friendship day. day. Yes. <laughs> And next Happy week, we're going to be So every month, there are many celebrations, as you rightly said. Yeah, yeah. It is not about only birthdays. We sell cakes. We sell cakes for every occasion. Friendship Day, Raksha Bandhan, Father's Day, Mother's Day, Valentine's Day to everything. Christmas, plum cake to all. Thank you. <laughs> Now the question which I want to pick up, uh, Vishnuji, if we can talk about a little bit on the unit economics, you know, what kind of an average sale uh, can an outlet expect? And if you can elaborate based on the current, uh, maybe cash flows or revenue, your current uh, formats uh, do, 
one and second because it is both a speciality uh, retail where you doing these confectionery items and cakes and you also have uh, you also work as a food service where you also have a food offering now between these two what kind of margins typically an outlet would have if they're operating both of these and overall what kind of margins can be expected out of an outlet if a little bit understanding on that just may uh, if uh, you can also uh, advise what occupancy cost what kind of uh, cost would go into maybe uh, uh, the the rental which is occupancy the other salaries and food cost if you give a brief uh, maybe uh, segregation and uh, what are the absolute margins that uh, a franchisee would be left with at the end of the month yeah that's what uh, is a uh, right question because every franchisee should know about this then only they can uh, uh, appeal to enter into the business so the revenue is very important that's uh, we are and the overall margin as the, for the mrp we are giving the 40% to uh, gross ma gross margin margin okay this is in that thing why any outlet uh, like express outlet for uh, having that 30000 of the uh, rental and then 10000 obviously the, for the electricity and around uh, if they are uh, the, the franchise is operating the uh, shop maybe they can have only two staffs so they can uh, around 30 35000 uh, uh, rupees of the uh, manpower cost and then the few packing costs and there is a, initially there is a wastages will be there around 3 to 4% the first month uh, chef bakers will be taking care of the wastage uh, thing so next month onwards they have to take care their own uh, their own because initially we need to support for that that that's the way so any outlets just like having the 30000 of the rental part so if he is doing around 3 lakhs of the business like monthly that per day 10000 he can able to do the break even that's what you know don't take it as in interest cost but as a uh, operating uh, break even he can able to do so you need outlet having that with which is the outlet is not doing lesser than 3 and a half lakh we are not recommending that that place we need uh, because the choosing the location is very important and also that we need to see that what is the society and then what is the floating crowd and what online can opportunities there we can bifurcate then we choose the location initially so that's why we recommend any outlet which is can do 3 and a half lakhs business that is the place we need to choose that we don't want the any of the franchises to lose the uh, initial uh, thing from their pocket that's why the express outlet is the most um, uh, we are at, uh, it's the more economy to uh, run that thing and if this business maybe you can take it around 20% the yearly average that you are you will be next year around 4 4 and a half lakhs of the business then is a seasonal additionally that seasonal business will come that is additional like uh, christmas you can do another 1 lakh extra business uh, like a december uh, for something like you know like valentines day you can do around 50000 of the business additional So these are all the additional businesses. So there you can is margin big because this all the fixed cost. You can this all, additionally what a, what all is going to uh, do that business is going to be his profit. That whatever that gross margin for forty percent is going to come to his holder. It got muted. Margin from that outlet. that uh, that is what every uh, this uh, this investment i think that will be the helpful for him to uh, invest for that that's what we are thinking and uh, the launch model a uh, little uh, different way uh, we need to that uh, i say again that uh, location is very important and and where uh, that there are uh, we need to identify there are is there any uh, dining capable uh, populations are there the people are coming out to they will sit and they can hang out or whatever this thing so in this place we used to uh, expect initially itself first month itself if it is nothing lesser than 9 lakhs of the business something is doing a, they, they cannot do 8 lakhs or 9 lakhs business in initially they cannot I, we are not recommending to open that area so in that within around 8 lakhs you can if the rental cost i'll take it around 80000 or 90000 per month and manpower cost will be 1 lakh and your electricity around 25000 and your additional like wastage and food cost and all other things will be there so in this calculation we we recommending this outlet should at least 8 lakhs do the break even cost then additionally this Uh, this model have the huge 
that potential for the another two years, you no need to be have the 15 or 20 percent increase. It can be a 30 percent. It's my like next year you could have having the average of 14 lakhs of the business, and then another year you can have the 16 or 18 lakhs of the business. Like that, it is it is a it is having huge potential for the dining, the rotation that how much you are getting popularized. That the options are there for the food. The both the things will be become equal. Initially, your cake will be around 80 percent. Your food will be 20 percent. Later on, 30 uh, 30. Even we do we are expecting around 60 percent of your bakery business and 40 percent for the dining dining capability. That's what we are expecting. There, your dining dining the kitchen. You once your volume is grown. Your margin is high there. Your food cost is only just 30, and your manpower only 30, or around 10. Then remaining, mm -hmm. remaining, and the royalty will be there around 78% for the uh, uh, promoters. So after that, you'll have at least 30% margin from the kitchen itself. You are doing around uh, 5 to 6 lakhs business from the uh, continental kitchen. That's how we, we made the system in that. Okay, so, very, very helpful. See, yeah. Another, uh, I think I, I need to pick up a few more uh, questions. Uh, the other question which I'm seeing, because we did talk about two models. One is uh, operated by the franchisee owned by him. The other is uh, where he would invest and the company would operate. What locations are we looking for a FOCO model? Because these are distant operations and uh, the company which is you needs to have enough bandwidth. Uh, so what locations are we looking at? Because we I am seeing inquiries coming from outside Karnataka and South as well. So what locations do you think uh, would be viable for you to run? On a FOCO model, yeah, any any of any any of the location is fine because uh, we have a team, a strong team for the area managers and operation team will take care of the. It, we don't bifurcate that operational uh, concentration either COCO or FOCO or FOCO because equal concentration for each outlets. So that's why that is why we can uh, hire the people and we can uh, put it and we can monitor with our uh, operational team. They will take care of the sales. Okay, but provided you already have a master franchise in that location, for example, in a place like UP or Chandigarh, where I'm seeing inquiries also coming from, if we don't have a master franchisee, because we don't have a hub there to perhaps uh, do the supplies, we would need a master franchisee and then uh, we can have a FOCO model, yes. which can come into play. Yes, yes. One more thing I would like to add, uh, uh, certain IT companies, for the time being, I'm telling you why we use this for company, franchisee operator, company owned or uh, because the bigger uh, IT companies, they don't give it to the individuals. They give it to brands. So we have to get registered. So we will get it registered, but the franchisee can operate from himself as an individual. This okay. is the idea behind all right. this. But this is normally done when a lot of uh, uh, IT parks or uh, shopping malls don't give directly to the investor because they want yeah. brand to come in it. So brand would sign the direct lease and then transfer to an operator. Rights uh, as a right. like, it would be an operator rights to be given to the franchisee to run and operate. Yes. Okay. So technically, this is on the papers, but operationally, we need a franchisee who would uh, be a part of the day-to-day -day business and operations. Hundred <laughs> percent. That that is where he will make money more, <laughs> more money. <laughs> One more thing which I want to, because we did talk about the hub, which is currently in uh, south in uh, two states. What kind of radius can these hub feed to? Within what radius can we feed and uh, bring unit franchisees under? Can I, can I get, get it again, please? Yeah, I said within what radius can we bring unit franchisees? Because you're currently running hubs in Bangalore. Uh, there's a production unit in Hyderabad. So within what radius uh, these hubs can feed to the units? Within this uh, hubs or is it a production unit uh, where that I'm saying uh, supplying the product. Supply. Yeah. It, it can it can be a, a radius of 25 to 30 kilometers. In Bangalore, I'm serving around 40 kilometers also. Uh, sometimes I used to go for the airport or the delivery also sometimes nearly. So we can be able to do around 30 to 40 kilometer radius. So that can be we we'll, uh, we will uh, make the vehicle transportations accordingly. I'll add a point to it, actually. In Bangalore, we have five hubs. Other than the main production unit, we have five hubs in different places. As you know, Bangalore is very prone to traffic. Traffic jam. We yeah. can never travel. So we have hubs in different places, like Electronic City or Hebal, um, Brookfield, Whitefield, all these areas, which is far, like yeah. at least 10 kilometers away from our production main production unit, so that these hubs will make cakes instantly, and the customer can have their the flavor which he likes itself. 
I like pineapple, you get pineapple. That's it. So that's why the hubs have been uh, allocated in different places. So it caters to all these uh, nearby nearest stores, outlets. nearest outlets, nearest stores, and every uh, every franchisee will be benefited through this. Is so while the idea is something like you know we hit uh, there are my delivery things is there express delivery within one hour uh, the guy is coming to my uh, the, sorry customer is coming to my outlet he is expecting some different flavor so he couldn't able to get but he is will make sure that within two hours he will get delivered from my sub hub so it will be radius of the within five to six kilometer radius that small hub will be producing only the cake the sponge and the cream everything will go from the main production unit my one chef will be just finishing that product uh, cake and they will be delivering within half an hour he land over to the uh, my delivery boy he can able to deliver within two, uh, one or two hours to the customer so we don't want to lose the customer that's the how it is right <laughs> now think because you know you also run a very big uh, uh, you know online business uh, what are the uh, revenue streams uh, from you know what kind of revenue do you generate online and what revenue generated offline at the outlet Yes, sir. So actually, if you talk uh, about eight to nine we'll... lakhs, uh, or maybe a smaller format, so what percentage is the split between these two? Around fifteen fields? percentage, uh, we can able to do from the online business. Fifteen percent average. 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 There are there are the pockets. I have the thirty percent also because where the corporate and uh, residential related places, they have more online business. Uh, where the purely the residential area, they are having only ten. Say so average of my stake is the uh, around fifteen percent. The thing. Yeah, aggregator business is there, but uh, still that is another ten percent. Aggregators, where all the aggregators can figgy and uh, zomato, they are not much interested in the cake business, but still we are uh, tied up and we are there doing. Uh, but there is another ten percent is there. So this launch model or this uh, the larger format will uh, bring in more sales for through aggregators, either figgy, zomato, or uh, done so anybody they will bring in more sales. in the large format model right hey krishna i'm just looking at more questions which are coming in and i'm seeing questions which are uh, coming from various uh, pockets inquiring about the master and units as well i feel we can uh, get into a detailed discussion uh, one on one with uh, all of them uh, and uh, we have opening up uh, in And the very specific questions. Maybe I'll pick up one which I just saw recently come in. Do you uh, have opening hub opportunity in West Hyderabad? What is the requirement, uh, which is specifically for West of uh, Hyderabad? Is there a hub uh, opportunity? Also, we did talk about the production. Is there a hub opportunity which also exists, which can be taken up by uh, any franchisee in the location where you currently exist? Because hub also requires some investment. So, do you see any kind of participation uh, from uh, investors uh, for putting up let, a hub? Let's let see the opportunity because this uh, we uh, given to the master franchisee already. So, uh, if it is uh, uh, more than a thirty kilometers, there is if that particular uh, outlet is having the potential of around twenty lakhs of the business. There is a point of using that hub, uh, making mm -hmm. the hub over there. If there is uh, doing around three to four lakhs of the business, there is no point of investing for the hub, and that is cost will go high either right. master franchisee or then uh, over that uh, particular outlet uh, owner, his cost will go high and his wastages will go high. So he couldn't able to do. But there is a con there is a full confident that he can have around four outlets in that for that supporting for from that hub. So we can able to think of four. There is a uh, there is a minimum uh, one delivery maybe can it it can come from the main production unit the morning delivery so whatever the additional orders and everything can be produced from that sub up there so so need at least to have around four five outlets is there in that area in that radius so that will helpful for the hub business one more point to clarify the hubs normally will be operated either by chef bakers or the master franchisee. No. So it will be distributed to all the franchises equally. If I give particular to a franchisee to operate a hub, it will be a chaos. <laughs> also, a lot of uh, margins also need to be shared, and they might not be enough to share uh, yes. between uh, these many layers, easy. which do not uh, add any value. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes. I think we've tried and covered uh, uh, many questions which uh, we could, uh, Vishnu ji and Shekhar ji, and the rest I feel we can take up one o one. 
uh, all the uh, inquiries which i'm seeing from south particularly we can take them on our priority and the other locations uh, for everybody who's looking for a unit uh, we want to uh, be very clear we're looking at a master franchisee outside uh, mm -hmm. locations which are bangalore and hyderabad uh, and uh, preferably anybody who has an existing uh, facility available or even people who want to convert that into a bakery are the kind of profiles we like to welcome and uh, we will uh, put our number which is a hotline number where would uh, the entire uh, profile of uh, the investors can come in we like to filter these profiles at our end and then reach out to you for a call with the the prospects who have uh, just uh, written i have some emails and some profiles which have already started coming in uh, shekhar ji so we'll take it up uh, offline with you Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Sunyati and nice Gaurav. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Sir. And also, we will take uh, one date, uh, which is say fourth or fifth, to hold a discovery day, where okay. we can really bring in some selected people who can talk to you and uh, discuss with that. Uh, so we will try to do it maybe on a fifth. If you are available, then uh, we yeah. can we can our both our direct teams and our consultants working in that market uh, would work on bringing some. filtered and pre qualified investors for you okay thank you very much garav sir thank, thank you sushi any 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 last words that you would want to give to the audience which is present uh, you are on you. mute uh, i think the screen has got frozen So friends, I still uh, see uh, some inquiries coming for a master franchisee, and a lot of people are asking what is the cost of the master franchisee. So master franchisee cost uh, would be dependent on the potential of that city. So I see somebody from Kolhapur, and there are many other locations like Delhi. So based on the location, based on the potential of each of your territories, uh, we'll customize the master franchisee proposal for you, and uh, that would need a little bit of uh, more, uh, I would say, discussion. at uh, your level and in the level of uh, the company and uh, i would request uh, you to please share your details uh, mr praveen uh, from kolhapur and i also have uh, miss sanam i would uh, request if you can also share your details we have taken down your information kindly reach out to us and we'll set up a date uh, which is convenient to uh, chef baker where we can get you on a one on one zoom call or a telephonic call and have a detailed uh, understanding of uh, the association which we can get into uh, vishnu ji i see you uh, back uh, would you like to give maybe a last final word to all the audience which is listening to you i think uh, they have gone uh, okay great great new uh, opportunity and tomorrow we have uh, uh, another big session which is about the five different opportunities we bring every friday so over to you archana for your thank you note and and closing of the session so thank you all the friends and participants of you join us today hope the session was interactive we want to extend our thanks to our brand also uh, we want to thank gorav sir and sunil ma'am for sharing its ins insights the recorded version of this particular webinar is available at the facebook page of franchises india brands limited because we got couple of queries uh, most of you have joined late so you can go to that particular site and you can see the recorded version of this webinar while sending a thank you mail we'll uh, share the basic document with you you can go through it and you can connect with us at our business hotline number which is 9797768383 uh, that's the number you can share your suggestions feedback and you can also join gorav sir and sonia ma'am at their respective linkedin ids but before uh, you go and uh, we say final goodbye today 30th of july and we have another great session from franchise guru mr gora maria who is talking about how you can start your own franchise business with us becoming the consultant so time is 4 to 5 o'clock where you can digitally connect with gorav sir to understand the entire concept of how independent franchise consultant work in franchise india uh, gora sir would you like to add or should i continue so this is a this is a initiative we have done uh, because we feel that is uh, india is very large and very large franchise marketplace and uh, we are looking for a better penetration and a very valuable uh, uh, you know good professionals who are now looking for a career change or looking for a new career they can join as uh, independent franchise consultant and good franchise in india and actually take a lot of opportunities which would bring them to their own markets so if you are interested to become a consultant and looking at franchising as an industry then please join us at a 4 o'clock uh, today evening for a 45 minute session 
Thank you, Gaurav sir. So this is a free session. Do not miss this chance. Join us. Uh, you can uh, book your slot at the hotline number which we have given on your screen. But you still, you want to write? You can write nine seven one seven six eight three eight three eight. Book your slot for today's session at four o'clock and tomorrow. Yes, it's Friday and Friday is special day for us because we represent five top business opportunity for you. So do registration for these two great uh, webinars which are coming on your way. at the hotline number and we will definitely love to uh, see you for both the webinars thank you so much from our side stay safe stay healthy thank you so much thank you thank you